pretty sweet. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I think seeing it in person is definitely a lot darker, like in terms of this, the wood of the neck, but man, it is cool. I've really wanted a body this color, like this kind of like off-white, um, I think they call it Olympic white in the, on uh, Firefly, but I've kind of wanted that for a while now. And um, already looking at this, there's a few things I wasn't expecting. Um, one was the tuning machines. Uh, I don't know, it's kind of maybe it's hard to see it, maybe if I show it like from this angle. Um, kind of tough to tell, but they're staggered. So this is the tallest and that's the shortest. And I, I'm not expecting that, as well as it being locking tuners. Um, but there's mixed reviews about the locking tuners in general. These feel fine. But I'll actually tune it up and let you know how it sounds. Um, and then another reason... Well, actually, I'll kind of go through the reasons now of why I bought this. So I bought it because it's a Telecaster. I've wanted one for a while. I've had one before in the past. I'll put up pictures of it. Um, but the uncomfortable thing about Telecasters is how big and boxy they are, which some people like that, but I don't, but man, ooh. <laughs> um, yeah, some people like how big and boxy it is, like Telecasters are, but dang, this is nice, like, this feels good. So, this has, um, some comfort cuts put into it, so it has a belly cut here, and it has a hand cut here to actually make this heel uh smaller which is super neat it has a little uh little cut here to get up into the higher scale area as well it has the newer style truss rod right here uh truss rod adjustment and so you don't see it in the headstock uh and i kind of like this it, it looks cool it looks like a charvel uh kind of like i've seen a lot of charvels with them um and then it has a p90 in the neck, which is something that I've been wanting for a while, and I've just, I've seen it, and I've heard it, and I thought it looks neat. Um, other things about this, I'm, like, not too sure about this bridge. I know, like, that's, like, the traditional telly style, but those are hard to intonate, so we'll see how hard this is to intonate. Um, but, yeah, all together, I am very excited for, uh, this guitar, and to play it, and in person, it does look pretty pretty darn neat um but yeah very very cool the ends of course they're doing this ball in thing where they just they must like pre-ball the frets before they put them in there because this is crazy um but stainless steel frets bone nut all these specs that sound good to our ears and force us to buy guitars no actually they just sound enticing so um at this price point, I also got this for the price of, I can't actually find it right now. <laughs> I'll put it on the screen. But um, yeah, I got it for an insane deal for Christmas. Um, kind of a little Christmas gift to myself, I guess. But I was like, you know, I think I'm going to do this. And so, yeah, I'm going to tune her up, play it around with it a little bit. And it might be the next day whenever you see me. Um, but I want to kind of mess around with this, see how uh, it plays how it feels, how she rides, and I'll fill you in in a, in a moment. Okay, so I kind of want to wrap up this part of the video where I just kind of do a little review on this, uh, and then I'll get to the next part where I do a little bit of modifications to show a little bit more of the guitar in depth um, and just kind of get it going. But I wanted to get on to the review part. So um, I paid for this with my own money. I got an incredible, like a crazy deal on it, incredible deal. Um, and so that's why I bought it. Um, I've wanted a Telecaster and this is the style that I've wanted. I've had other ones before, um, but this is definitely the one that I wanted um, in terms of body, body style wise, which I know it sounds weird because they're all the same, but I'll explain that later. Um, so I wanted to kind of go into some pros and cons just to kind of give a general um, overview of this. So. Uh, the pros are the P90 in the neck sounds incredible, but this is sweet. This is such a unique pickup. Um, 
I really like it. It doesn't sound like any of my other guitars in the neck position, and so it's just really fun and really cool to mess with. The uh, bridge is kind of like any other Telecaster, but that's why I wanted it, because it's a Telecaster. So, um, the One of the big reasons why I got this, what I was saying earlier, was the comfort cuts in the guitar. So it has this right here for your hand. It has this belly cut here, um, and then it also has a comfort cut for whenever you go up to higher uh, to play higher frets the action here uh, and the heel joint is lower they like shaved it down so that's sweet freaking sweet love it um but yeah and then it also has a little arm curve here let's see if i can get the light you can see how the light's shining off of that because this is curved um which is huge i mean this guitar is really comfortable to play for a long time um, I have no problem, no problem playing it for a, quite a while. So, uh, moving on the price, the price was a huge pro to this. I know it was on sale whenever I bought it. Um, but just the fact that they were willing to do that sale and willing to sell this at that price, I doubt that they made any money on this, but it was really fun, really cool to get it. And it was like 160 something dollars, including shipping, uh, to my house. So really cool. Uh, another pro is locking tuners, which um, some people are like, oh, they're just cheap locking tuners. These are really smooth. They feel really good. I've had no problems with them holding tuning. Uh, so that's really nice. Um, the other thing that is really cool, and I didn't know this ordering it, but the tuning machines are staggered. So um, I don't know if you can really see this, but this one's taller and this one's lower. So it helps with um, getting the right brake angle on the bridge, and I know technically these also help with that. Um, but it's just kind of neat. If I wanted to remove these, I could, and potentially have still the same action. Um, but just kind of a little detail that they didn't have to put in there that I think is really neat. Um, stainless steel frets. These frets on here are stainless steel. We have a bone nut. Uh, it's just an incredible like modding platform so if you bought this and you're like i don't want to really use any of that stuff i just want to put it in my own it's like a very low entry price for roughly the body that you get if you wanted to like change out the tuning pegs and the pickups and electronics and stuff i don't know why you would i've honestly had a good time with them but i know some people are out there and want that stuff and that's cool like i think that's fun and for this price point i think it's a great place to start um the guitar in total is pretty hot in terms of outputs from the pickups and stuff, but I expected that because it is a Telecaster and I really wanted that. I wanted like a hot twangy um, Telecaster that has just fun sounds for me to play with. Uh, it's 22 frets. That's another part that I was like really interested in is that some like strats and Telecasters um, stop at the 21st fret and I don't know why now it's like been an annoyance of mine maybe because like whenever you play something like Christmas Eve Sarajevo and you got to go up to the 24th fret bending from the 21st fret all the way up is like that's a chore um, and keeping it sounding in tune and stuff but 22 and then bending up to 24 is not bad so anyway just thought I'd point that out because that was another reason why I would just bought this guitar as well um, the truss rod placement uh, to adjust the truss rod it's uh, like a modern style where it's cut into the neck there at the bottom rather than in the top like some guitars or having to take the whole neck off and adjust the truss rod um, I never understood those guitars I know it's like an older vintage thing but I never really liked that at all um, on that note the neck is straight there's no bend in it there's a like a tiny bit of relief like just less than a hair um but like the proper amount i was really surprised with that so very straight neck um big props for that and then the action out of the box was really low i don't think it was set up which i'll get into into the cons part but it was really low and i love low action on my guitar so that was really nice for the cons uh for the cons of this it's uh the strings I'll start with this. The strings and some of the parts were kind of dirty. So, like, the strings themselves were actually dirty. So, whenever I was playing, I'd get, like, black marks on my fingers from where I was sliding around and playing on it. 
um, which that's easy to fix, just put new strings on it. Um, but then parts of the guitar had like um, plastic still on them uh, or whatnot, and I had to just kind of clean clean that off. So it feels like maybe it'd been sitting in a factory floor for a little while, not too sure. Um, the frets, although they are stainless steel, they're scratchy, so I'm going to have to go and polish them. Um, they're not terrible, but let's see, you can probably hear it. That's the trash. I don't know. I don't know if you could hear that or not, but it's really not terrible, but I like really, really polished frets. So I know I can do that with stainless steel frets. Um, there's a slight ground buzz, but it's only whenever I point it up at my bright lights um, in the ceiling. So I think it's just really a ground interference with lighting and stuff. So if I have the guitar and I'm playing it like this, I have no problem. But as soon as I turn it up just a little bit, like... I notice, or if I play at an angle, then I'll, I'll notice it because it's pointing up at a light. So I just got to be conscious of that. Um, it wasn't intonated out of the box, and intonating this thing stinks. Part of the mod I'm going to do in the second part of this video is I'm going to put on a new bridge that has um, proper, like, uh, in, in individual saddles rather than these like t-styles that you can intonate two strings at the same time so yeah that's kind of a i'm not a huge fan of this i feel like this never gets intonated well because you really you compromise two strings i don't know not that great but i'm gonna replace that hopefully if the part i have fits and then um yeah that's pretty much it for the cons honestly there's really not much bad about this guitar i really love it i love the neck the neck has like kind of a um just a soft finish to it let's see if i can show it here so it's not glossy um yeah really nice really nice finish on the guitar overall i really love it oh another thing i remember now was there are for the cons um there are like cracks in the neck pocket but i think it's just um cracks in the polyurethane it's like the tiniest crack but i noticed and i was like huh um but honestly i don't really mind i think the coolest part about this is um i got it because i want to keep it for a long time play and i want it to kind of be a telecaster that i can kind of beat up and not feel bad if i if i put dings or dents in it and stuff like that or if i want to completely strip off this and put a new coat on it but i really love this color so i probably won't um so I'm going to wrap this part up with saying my recommendations and what I think. Um, who would I recommend this guitar to? Uh, it'd definitely be intermediate players um, or modders, uh, people who like to mod their guitars. Um, just because I think it's as silly as it is, like, I just, from my experience with the other Firefly um, and this one, and, and just stuff I've seen online, it's a little bit too inconsistent of a guitar to, like, get for a beginner, ironically. Um, but they're great if you need a second guitar. Let's say you gig a lot and you're just like, let me just get a second guitar as a backup. I think this is a, this will be a great workhorse of a backup. Um, even a main guitar, if you're totally fine with that, I think some, you know, if you're not, like, sold on what's on the headstock here i think this is a great guitar this is my main telecaster now so um yeah i would recommend it for those people or people that want to get a gift for someone that know enough about guitars so like if let's say this pickup didn't work straight out of the box from shipping then um they would know how to open up the cavity the electronics cavity and fix that so um yeah i i mean this guitar for what it's what it's worth uh is a great guitar i really love it would I recommend it for a total beginner that knows nothing about um, guitar or anything? Probably not, because it's not guaranteed that you're going to get a good guitar right out of the box from the company. Um, I know that sounds bad, but just from my experience and stuff I've seen, it's like there's just a chance, and I just don't want to put my name on something that could go badly like that. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the review part. Next, I'm going to do some work here and show some fret polishing stuff and cleaning the fretboard and yeah so i have my wilkinson m series 
uh, bridge replacement in, and I just wanted to kind of film putting this part on here and then intonate this and see how it does comparing it to these T-saddles. Uh, and again, the reason why I like these is because they had the brass look here, um, similar to how these, you know, traditional Tully style is. And this is this should be a pop and swap replacement. I looked, I have another Telecaster bridge, but it's like a modern style and those actually don't fit so you have to get like the ashtray ones um to fit i didn't know that but it's cool this was like 15 dollars, so i'm not worried about it I just wanted to kind of disassemble this really fast and show you guys what I'm getting under this and also what you may get if you have this guitar or something. Um, I was curious if this was Nashville cut, um, so it's not. Meaning Nashville cut meaning that there's another pickup slot right here. Um, so I don't know if I really want to do that. I have a Stratocaster, so I don't really need that. Um, I mean, I know that there's other reasons besides that, but... I don't know if I want to do that to this yet, um, but I thought it's kind of cool. You can see that they put some kind of shielding paint. I'm going to test that with a multimeter. You can always test your multimeter by setting it to uh, ground and then touching the two probes in different spots on the black shielding paint and seeing if it grounds. Um, and if it does, then it's proper shielding paint. And if not, then it's just black paint and it's not actually shielding paint. Um, but yeah, I also want to see this. It looks like there's cloth wire in here. Um... So, but it's only for parts of it. So I don't really know much. I'm not really a stickler for cloth wire or not. I feel like whatever really gets the job done and does a good job at it is what I prefer. So big pots, um, but yeah, pretty cool vintage looking switch. Um, so, yeah, pretty neat. Pretty neat with the pit guard off to see it all. I'm um, definitely going to clean it up before I put the new stuff back on, but here you go. Another thing to note, which I didn't say before I cleaned up this guitar, um, there's no grounding, uh, there's no grounding wire run to this, so I'm going to run one, but I'm just going to simply, let's see if I can pull this out real fast. Yeah, so I'm just going to run it through this hole, um, and then just run it out and on top of here to, to make sure it makes contact with the new bridge um should be really easy on this kind of a guitar but i know the guitars that could be a pain but not too not upset about that at all okay so i kind of wanted to show you what i was talking about when i said uh set the multimeter to continuity and you can touch the ends together you hear a beep and then i should be able to touch two pieces here and hear a beep but I do not. I get it over like stuff like this. Let's see. Yeah, yeah. So I'm getting it there, but I'm not getting it anywhere in these painted cavities. So I know that this is not actually shielding paint, or at least good kind of shielding paint. It's just probably black paint. So I have some copper tape I'm going to just put on the inside of this to help insulate ground and then keep rolling. Okay, and just a few minutes later, I'm all taped up and ready to put this thing back together with a ground wire installed um, to touch the bridge. So yeah, let's get to it. Okay, I just wanted to get this videoed because it's looking good now. I polished all the frets. I did a nice deep clean on the fretboard and this guitar is looking sweet so i'm gonna get it strung up here and intonate it okay and this is just to show i have this string i mean the string the <laughs> yeah well the strings in bridge on i'm about to get ready to set the action and intonate it and everything um, but I thought I'd show this close-up shot here. You can see the... It's kind of weird. I have the 
I mean, it lined up with my string through holes in the body, but there's also string through holes in the back. Um, so kind of neat, but not so neat is how weird this is. I don't know what that's going to do for me. Um, I mean, I have some ideas of what it'll do for me, but we'll see. I mean, I, I can maybe try to go through the back, but it's just kind of odd how, how this is. So hopefully it doesn't set me back too far. Okay, so I have different saddles I ended up having to put on here. Um, the other ones just weren't cutting it for me, and I had to do a lot of modification to the screws, actually, to get them to fit. So it took a lot longer than I thought, but I was able to intonate, and I'm happy with where it's at. Would I recommend this bridge? No, but now I know to say that, and you guys are watching this in this video. So, yeah, on to the next part. Final thoughts on this guitar with the uh, new saddles in there. Uh, I just kind of want to make a little wrap up to the end of this video as it's getting long. Um, and it's been, a, it's been a while, it's been like almost two months since I got this guitar. So, um, kind of give a little bit of my final thoughts and, uh, plans for this guitar and then wrap up this video. So first and foremost is this guitar. I still love it. It's awesome. Um, the only thing I don't love is this ashtray style pickup, but that comes custom or standard with Telecasters. So I saw on um, Amazon I can get like a different style bridge that I'm going to swap out that should be compatible with this vintage style uh, routing and um, screw placement. So I'm going to swap that out. I'm not going to do it in this video because it's already long enough. Um, and then everything else with this guitar is amazing. I've, I've honestly been playing this a good amount. Um, just cause it's, it's very versatile. It has a lot of sounds that my other guitar, my other guitars don't have, and it is a ton of fun to play. Uh, uh, so I can't really say much more about it other than I'm very thankful I got this. And if Firefly releases some more Telecasters in the future, they're gone now. These are gone. Um, cause they're on a Les Paul kick and, uh, some more Stratocaster stuff with Floyd Roses in them, um, or Floyd Roses, <laughs> But they're going to have these again on the store, I'm sure of it. So uh, this will, yeah, this will probably be something I'll keep an eye on for future or for friends who are like, hey, you have any recommendations? So definitely a great guitar. I love both of these pickups. They sound really unique to what my other guitars sound like. Um, and yeah, very, very thankful I got this. And I hope this helps you in your search for Firefly or you just found this video entertaining. So yeah, good luck to you, and thank you for watching.